Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Trader Joe's haul. So if you guys want to see some of my most favorite products, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I went ahead and separated everything kind of by category. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my seasonings. I love Trader Joe's seasonings. Um, my most, oh, sorry. My favorite is, um, if you guys haven't ever tried this, this is a um, barbecue rub. And what I like about this is it has garlic and um, it also has coffee grounds in it. So it's really, really good. We put this on chicken, steaks, hamburgers, and this is really one of my most favorites. So if you guys have never tried this seasoning from Trader Joe's, I really recommend it. I got two of them because um, sometimes they do run out and I like to keep them in stock. So this one is one of my favorites. Okay, so moving on to the next seasoning is um, garlic salt. It's a grinder and this is, try to get that without the reflection. Okay, so this is one of my most favorites. I use this almost on a daily basis. This one is um, garlic salt. It has sea salt, roasted garlic, onion, and parsley, and it comes in a grinder. I really like that. Another one of my favorites is the onion salt from Trader Joe's. This one also has, um, it has granulated onions, granulated garlic, minced onion, kosher salt, green onions, and dried chives. This is one of my most favorites as well. I use this um, to season chicken or beef, and you could also use it for gravies and soups. These two are always the ones that I use. I use these almost every day. So I really like those. Another one that comes in a grinder is the sea salt, just the regular sea salt. I really like this one. Um, my husband likes the Himalayan salt, and um, that one's also really good, but I just like regular sea salt. So that's another one. And let's see here, black pepper. This one actually comes in a regular um, pepper. I do have that one. Um, this one I really like. This one's in, in my haul, but this one's already been used. And I like this one because it does give you big chunk. My husband's not a big fan of the big chunks, so I get him um, the organic ground pepper. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I get him the organic ground pepper. This one is also one of our favorites. And let's see here. Ooh, I get uh, two. I always get about two or three of these when I go to Trader Joe's. This is just the taco seasoning mix. And this one has sea salt, cumin, cayenne pepper, uh, cane sugar, paprika, onion, garlic, black pap uh, sorry, black pepper, red pepper, oh wait, red bell pepper, oregano, chili peppers, and smoked paprika. Paprika. Okay. So these are my favorites. I use these anytime I make tacos. I really like these. I feel like the other ones are really salty and these ones, um, you don't need a lot of salt when you use these. So these are one of my favorites. And another one of our favorites, we use this one a lot. We put it on almost everything. This is the chili lime seasoning. And this one has, um, let's see, sea salt, chili pepper, red bell pepper, lime juice powder, citric acid, and we put this on popcorn, mangoes, fresh mango chunks, um, pineapple. We also put this on cucumbers. My son really likes this one. This one's one of my sp his favorites. So that is another seasoning. And I honestly, and I think that is it for the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Oh wait, no, sorry. Not really a seasoning, but um, this is the Fair Trade Organic Colombian Coffee. This is a really strong coffee. I really like it. I've been uh, picking it up every time I go on my Trader Joe's hauls for about, I don't know, maybe four months now. I put it in my Keurig and I really like this coffee. It's really, really good. 
aside from the New Mexico Pinon Coffee, that one is another one of my favorites. And another thing I pick up at Trader Joe's is this uh, heavy whipping cream. This is uh, this actually has a shelf life of I think three months maybe. So you don't have to keep this in the refrigerator. You could actually just keep it in your pantry. I use this for cakes, for uh, soups, in mashed potatoes. This is just another one of my staples. I like keeping these in stock. I also use them for gravies. So this one is really good. I actually got two of them. And let's see here. Another one of my favorites is the Trader Joe's Multi-Floral and Clover Honey. I go through this a lot in the winter. Um, especially for hot teas these are this honey is one of my favorites and let's see another one is I got a almond butter I don't know where maybe it's in another bag but this is another one of my favorites this is the organic super fruit fruit spread it has a blend of morella morello cherries pomegranate juice and wild blueberries I really like this jelly with the almond butter. Let me see. Okay, almond butter from Trader Joe's. If you guys haven't ever tried this, I recommend it. It's so creamy. Of course, because it's a natural product, the oil does separate, so you guys just have to give it a good mix. But this is another, this is another one of my favorites. All right, let's see here, and I really like, um, not really a spice, but it's in this bag. So this is the Trader Joe's marinara, tomato marinara sauce. This is my favorite. I absolutely love this sauce. I don't think you need to add anything to it. It's good just as is. And this is one of my favorites. I use this with the chicken parmesan. It's really, really good. Okay guys, so moving on to the frozen foods. I wanna go ahead and get these done because I wanna get them in the freezer. One of our uh, favorite snacks from Trader Joe's is the soft pretzels. We um, just pop them in the microwave for I think uh, 35 seconds. I don't remember, I'll have to ask my husband, but um, they are really good. They are super soft and they come with a little sea salt packet. So all you do is sprinkle some water on the pretzels then sprinkle your sea salt and pop them into the microwave. These are one of our favorite snacks from Trader Joe's. All right, uh, another one of our favorites, well mine really, is these chicken cilantro mini wontons. And I just cook them according to the package uh, instructions and I serve them with some um, soy sauce. So these are really, really good. You could really taste the cilantro in them and I just, really likes cilantro so that's why I get these and let's see here I just came across these about um, a few months I've always seen it but I've never tried it and I got them a few months back and I really really like them so I've been stocking up on these um, every time I go and this is just an asparagus risotto and it's super creamy so easy to make all you do is add two tablespoons of water in a little skillet you cover it and, and it's ready in about five minutes so if you guys like risotto i recommend this one it's really really good it's one of my favorites that is in my little stock pile in my freezer okay what else do i have these my husband really likes um these are just little hash browns um they're really really big and they taste really really good they are super crispy. We cook them in a little skillet. So another favorite for breakfast, really easy to make. And you could actually put these in the um, uh, conventional oven if you have, um, want to make it a little healthier. And you just bake them for about 15 minutes. So these are another favorite. All right, let's see. Oh, my favorite. I love these. Uh, these are French green beans. And I use these a lot. They are my favorite. Just in case you can't get a hold of uh, fresh green beans, you could always get some of these. These are just super crispy. I just really, really like these. I serve these um, during Thanksgiving 
one of my favorites. All right, let's, um, these are new. These I've never tried. I just thought they looked so good. These, this is a stacked eggplant parmesan and I just thought it looked so good. Um, I normally get a few of these little microwavable dinners and um, the different pastas and tortellini. They didn't have any, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I just thought it looked so good. So I'm gonna try this maybe um, for lunch tomorrow. So yeah, I think it looks so good. I got two of these. Another favorite is these little pineapple tidbits. I just put these um, to defrost at room temperature and I sprinkle a little bit of that chili lime seasoning I showed you guys earlier. So I try to keep this one in stock. This is also good for smoothies. Um, I do get the mango chunks. I wasn't running low on those so I didn't pick those ones up. But this is really good um, in smoothies. Okay, I think that's it for my frozen foods. I'll get another bag going. Okay guys, so moving on with my Trader Joe's haul, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our favorite snacks. And um, the first thing I'm gonna show you are these uh, crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies. These are just tiny little chocolate chip cookies and these are my son's favorite. I sometimes have to put some in a Ziploc bag and put them aside for me because he will just go right through these. But these are really, really good cookies and they almost have like a coconut um, flavor to them and I did read the ingredients and they do have coconut oil in them that's why they taste a little bit like coconut but these are super crispy and crunchy and I really really like these especially in the morning with coffee they're just so good all right and then one of my favorite snacks um, is just this soft and juicy dried mango I put chili lime seasoning on this as well I just think that seasoning is so good it's my favorite you guys have to try it we put that seasoning on corn on the cob as well, but it really goes good with these dried mangoes. I just really like that salty sweet combination, so that's why I put that seasoning in these mangoes as well. And then we got um, milk chocolate covered mini pretzels. Again, salty sweet combination, my favorite. And I really like the chocolate on these pretzels, super creamy. Delicious, my favorite snack from Trader Joe's. Another one of them. Okay, let's see here. My husband's favorite snack, one of his snacks, um, are these organic corn chips. He likes this with just like um, by themselves or sometimes with the bean dip. And then he also likes, well, I actually like these a lot with um, like a Frito pie. So if you guys haven't ever tried these, these are really, really good. Um, they are not salty, too salty like the other ones, so that's why I like them. And one of our most favorite snacks, I actually got two of these bags because we do go through them quickly. Probably should have gotten more, but I didn't. One of my favorites is um, these pita chips, another favorite. I actually put these in salads or eat them by, my, by themselves, sorry. Um, I didn't eat them by myself, yeah. Parmesan cheese, garlic, and herb seasoning on these ones. So delicious. All of these are my favorites. That's why I stock up on them. All right. So I think that's it for the snacks, I guess. I'm gonna put these away and then I have a few other items to show you guys. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you my, um, I don't know, everything I put in the refrigerator, my refrigerated items, I guess. Uh, one of our favorites are these organic herb salad mix. We got, I get two of these. Um, the reason why I like them is because it has um, a different flavor than your ordinary salad mix. It has uh, organic cilantro, organic parsley, organic dill, and it just have a, a different kind of varieties of baby lettuces. But you can really taste the cilantro and the dill in them. That's why we really like these. And I like to make salads using that spring mix um, with these little mini heirloom tomatoes. And you can just see the colors on these little tomatoes. These are so good. Sometimes I just um, dice them up and put some sea salt and ground black pepper on them. I don't know, I just think these tomatoes are delicious. I, I can't explain it. They're really, really good. So 
one of my favorites. Another one is these um, Persian cucumbers. I slice these up and again, put some chili lime seasoning on those. They're so good. And I actually think Trader Joe's is quite affordable. A lot of people might think it's expensive, but honestly, these were $1.99. A lot of the items I get are $1.99. The salad mixes are $1.99. I think those tomatoes were like $2.39, these little tomatoes. Um, these whole wheat English muffins, my favorite, with the almond butter and that uh, fruit spread, $1.99. So Trader Joe's is pretty affordable. If you guys have never been there, give it a try and you guys will be surprised as to how affordable it actually is. Uh, let's see here. One of my favorites. These are all my favorite. I always say one of my favorites. But they're all my favorite. Um, basmati rice. My husband really likes this rice. Um, we like it because Trader Joe's has the cheapest basmati rice. I've gone to other stores and a bag like this runs about $6. And uh, Trader Joe's, in, it actually, I think it's $2.39. So this is a really good deal for basmati rice and it holds its texture. It does not get mushy. So we really like this rice. And then let's see what else did I get? I got some grapefruit juice, my favorite. This grapefruit juice is not sweet at all. It's pretty tart. That's why I like it. I pick it up every time I go. Like I said, I go to Trader Joe's about once a month to stock up on these items. And let's see here. I think that might be it. Wait. Okay. Another one that we get, another item that we get is this alkaline water from Trader Joe's. These are $1.99. And especially now that it's super hot in the summer, sometimes you need a little more than just regular water. So we get these alkaline waters. Uh, we get about, I get about four of them, maybe five every time I go. So I did pick up four. Got four of these waters. So if you guys have never been to Trader Joe's, really try to get down there. They have such amazing items and I think it's quite affordable. So another item I like from Trader Joe's is this sunflower oil. This is perfect for your everyday cooking. I also use the grapeseed oil and the olive oil. I wasn't out of those, so I didn't include those in my haul, but I think next time I will have to pick those up. This oil is perfect for your everyday cooking. So the last item I picked up during my Trader Joe's haul, Rosie, sit. Rosie is, I don't know what she's doing. She's in her crate right now because earlier she was on the counters trying to bring down all of my Trader Joe's items. So I do have to put her in a crate sometimes because of this reason she's just crazy. Rosie, lay down, you're okay. So the last item I picked up, <laughs> Rosie, sorry guys. So the last item I picked up during my Trader Joe's haul was this beautiful lavender. <coughs> Rosie's barking at me. She probably thinks I'm crazy talking about this. <coughs> Look how pretty this color is. Can you guys see that break? <coughs> Rosie, stop. Be a good girl. <coughs> Rosie. Why are you barking at me? Rosie's barking at me but you can really see that purple. And it's so fragrant. My entire house smells like lavender. Came in this really cute packaging. Rosie, be a good girl, be nice. She's always barking at me. Isn't this pretty? I think I paid, sorry, I think I paid about $7.98 for it. It smells so good. Lavender is my favorite flower. All right, I have to take Rosie out.
really good. My favorite snack. Easy, quick snack, and it's delicious. I love this seasoning. Okay guys, so that is it for my Trader Joe's haul. I really hope you guys liked it. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that bell button so you are notified every time I upload a new video. This really helps my channel out. Check out the links below, and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!